City workers back power washing and sanitizing homeless encampments on sidewalks in the city. CBS 2's Hermela Aragawi explains why the controversial cleanups have restarted. We provide hygiene kits. We do tent exchanges. If a tent has become contaminated, they can trade it in. We'll destroy it and give them a new one. Department of Public Works spokesperson Elena Stern says the program was restarted this week at the request of the mayor and the city council, which voted in June to resume mandatory encampment cleaning. The sanitation agency says on Wednesday about 17 teams were deployed to about two dozen locations in the city. If there are belongings that are unattended, um, we remove them. We we bag, tag, and store them if they're safe and not contaminated. Um, if there is unsanitary or hazardous or contaminated uh, materials, we then take those away and destroy them. City officials tell us they post notice days before the cleanup, and outreach coordinators also visit the sites to give people living in encampments a heads up and offer them services. We try to also encourage them to get inside somewhere, get into these shelters, get an AV8s, or if we can get them a room, you know, or something like that, operation room key. Alfie Jones is an outreach specialist for Venice-based nonprofit Safe Place for Youth. So it's kind of hard for you to take a person from here and put them in a motel room and watch. You know what I mean? It's, and it kind of it kind of puts them uh, at a place to be a victim. Celicia Jensen has been living on the streets for about five years. Remove us from this sidewalk. Where else do we have to go but another sidewalk? I've grown to live with it over the last five years. Um, given the choice. The sanitation agency says they will be doing daily cleanups moving forward. In downtown L.A., Hermela Aragawi, CBS 2 News. And now to breaking news in Orange County and San Juan Capistrano.